Hello. So we are back Wednesday. And this is a very special video. Yeah. So I have none with this kind of uh, repair. Okay. So let's start. First, what do we have here? We have some DVD player. Which is uh, kind of working. Because there's no sound on the output. So the power amplifier is that. So what we will do today, we'll just modify the audio amplifier, yeah? Now, maybe it looks like a funny job, but I made like a lot, lot of money doing this kind of repairs. Around 15 years ago, 15 years ago, was uh, that time when the stereo, the car stereo comes out yeah and obviously whatever you'll do like connect on the other uh, twist the wires plus or minus on the stereo or short the speaker you will burn the audio amplifier yeah so i made a lot like on that time you couldn't find the chip so you just remove the chip and modify it and that's all yeah it's so simple and i will show you how uh -huh. yeah let me find my chip this is a beautiful chip. You know why? Because it's so simple. You need three components to have an audio amplifier. What do you want more simple? Three components, three, yeah? Let me take it out one second. This one, TDA 2003. This is a beautiful chip. Yeah, it's so simple, so simple, and I think it's up to you can you can do like up to twenty watts amplifier if you bridge if you use two and bridge them, or like twelve volts you can get out around ten watts, which is fantastic. Not ten watts, twelve volts you get like five watts, and up to 18 volts you can get more like 10 watts that's what i think yeah so uh, that's what we will do we'll use this and uh, modify this uh, dvd player or blu-ray or whatever it is hey, give me a second Okay, first, uh, you can do this kind of modification on any, any audio, on any audio device, yeah? I love audio, so if I will be to choose something to do, probably I will do only audio. So this is working. I mean, it's spinning, it's ejecting the disc, yeah? But it's no sound on the speaker. We can check with the speaker. I have a big speaker here. Look this, yeah. So this is a Kenwood speaker. Okay. So check the volume. Max volume, yeah. So it's playing. So if I put the speaker on any output, it will not work. Yeah, so the speaker is connected, it's no sound. I try on a different one, the same. On this one, I can hear like a pop on the speaker, but that's all. Pop on the speaker, but nothing else. Nothing here. Nothing here. And nothing on the last one, yeah? Well, this is some 5 plus, plus 1 uh, configuration. But it's not about this, it's about uh, you have to fix it so the customer can do something with this device, you know, to have sound. Probably will not be 5 plus 1 after that, yeah? 
but still it's usable that's the idea it's usable yeah so one more thing about this chip one more reason why this chip is beautiful is because it can work great on two ohm speakers that's mean uh, no literally a two ohm speaker but two speakers or two outputs connected together in the parallel mode yeah that's why it's beautiful so we will not use two chips yeah we'll use only one and we'll connect two speakers together it's working you have something which is working it's making sound you can use it yeah okay let's start first first what do we need we need to know we need to have the the voltage so let's say from 10 volts up to 18 volts yeah that's what we need and the second things what we need we need audio signal so we have to be sure actually the audio amplifier is burned and it's not burned i don't know the digital analog converter yeah that's all what we need okay so what i will do first Give me a second. Okay. So what I believe here, here is the audio amplifier. It's a class D amplifier because I can see the coils. Yeah and i think this is the driver or the digital uh, analog converter which is quite hot this is warm this is hot the thing is i did check if i have a, if i have a voltage on the on the, on audio amplifier and i do have give me one second give me one second Yeah. Yeah, sorry. So the the voltage probably this is the, the, the primary power supply and this is the second one, the big one for the audio amplifier. And on the diodes we have what do we have on the diodes? Thirty four volts, yeah? So we do have voltage on the power amplifier. And other, uh, other problem, it's, it's warm. So that means it is voltage there. So it's not a problem, it's no voltage. No, it's that it is burned. Or can happen like uh, most likely the mute is coming from this ship. Yeah, so it can be muted. But on any case, I have no schematics, so it's no way how can I fix something like that. Or it's long. Let's say maybe I can fix, but it's long. Find the pro, order the chip. It's a long process, you know. I don't really have time for that. So we we spoke with the customer, explain what we'll do in the case the audio amplifier is burned. So let's do it first. Let's find the audio signal. That's very important. How do we find the audio signal? With the headphones, obviously the audio signal is weak. It's it's the, the power amplifier is not working, so you have to find the audio signal before the the audio amplifier. So I'll use the headphones. I'll use the headphones, and here I have on the serial mode this. I think this because I used them this before. So we have a ground. Let me show you the power supply. With the power supply you have a ground and left and, le and the right but you don't use the ground so you lose use only left and right and you have them on the serial mode no it's not working yeah? oh yeah it is yeah i can hear the sound so we have the headphones so what do we need we need a ground yeah we need a ground Let's try this. 
Good. So that's the ground. Now you cannot check with the wires. You have there around 30 plus 40, uh, 30 will be like 60 ohms. If you come with 60 ohms on some, uh, you know, thingy there, it's not good. So you have to use a capacitor, yeah? So let me find any capacitor, like any electrolytic or uh, like this one is fine yeah just to separate the the electric circuit from the headphones because obviously the audio signal will pass the capacitor but not the not the current so you can try if you have access on the on the audio ac pins you can try that if you don't have audio access on the audio ic pins audio amplifier pin you can try around and try to find the audio signal so this is on max volume so I will try if it's not audio signal we can't we can't fix it yeah Play. You know what I'm doing here? Yeah? Maybe it's good to go under the microscope. Just checking different points, different pins. Just be sure he's playing music before, yeah? Here I have some sound, low volume sound, but it's too low. This is not, probably this is something else. It's a good idea to discharge the capacitor to ground. It should be somewhere. We do have audio. How can I do it? So you can hear the music. So we do have a, we do have audio signal on the on the audio amplifier input. Now the the, the biggest problem. Now is the biggest problem. If it's the audio signal, you can change it from the potentiometer, because you can have a surprise. So it's here. Okay. You can have a surprise, like uh, the audio amplifier has a pin, and actually the, the volume is getting changed on audio amplifier, but not on this case. On this case, the volume, and most of the cases, is like that. Audio volume is, it, it's, audio volume is changed on, uh, on a chip before the audio amplifier, yeah? But let's see. I'm, I'm sure I'm right. I'm sure I'm right. But let's see. Yeah, so the volume is changing. It's changing here. How can I do it? I can't really do it. But you have to trust me. We'll see on the end, yeah. So we do we we do have audio signal, yeah. So one problem is solved. Now the next problem is the power. So on the power supply, you have two power supplies. I think we can use any. We can use any, let's see, ground. And we do have some uh, regulators here. We have some diodes.
So look, like here, we have an output of this regulator 12 volts, yeah? So we can use this 12 volts for our audio amplifier, or we can use the input. Yes, yeah, so it's no, it's 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 a bad idea to use the output of the regulator because it will get hot. So we'll use the input, which is 16 volts. So 16 volts should be fine for our uh, audio amplifier. Yeah. So we do have the voltage. We do have the audio signal. All what is left is to check the voltage. Usually this job is short, but because I'm explaining, it's 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 taking a little bit long. Let me go online and check the schematics. Try to find a TDA. TDA Okay, found it, yeah? So let me switch, let me switch Yeah? So this is a TDA 2003 I, I know you will see a lot of components, but actually it's more simple Yeah, that's the schematic but why I'm saying you need only three components? You, know, you can use it bridged. It's it's a nice chip. It's a nice one. Okay, let's go on the first schematics. What we found. This one, yeah. Let me see what, what let me explain why I said you need frame components because if you if there is audio amplifier you already have this capacitor you already have this uh, cutting down things yeah on the board so you already have these components you already have the voltage with the capacitor you already have the input with the capacitor maybe you don't have the capacitor we can use the capacitor and all what you need, you need these three components the capacitor 220 micro a resistor 220 resistor 2.2 ohms resistor the amplification you change the amplification yeah to bring your audio amplifier where do you want with this resistor so you want more amplification i think you have to lower this value 2.2 ohms if you need less amplification i think you have to increase but i'm not sure that's what that uh, that is what i remember from years and years yeah so that's what we'll do so let's Put the two, this chip there. Let's find a place. Yeah, let's find a place. Uh, yeah, there. So I'll get this chip. Where should I put it? Here. Yes, I think I can do it here. Huh? Or maybe not. Yes, I can. I can do it here. Uh, by the way, the the heatsink is ground. Yeah. Which is fantastic. I think it's ground. Let me check. I swear I, I didn't touch a, um, a dish chip from many years ago. Yeah, so that's ground. So you c we can use the chip. Here. Yeah, what do you think? Let me bring down this. So you can see better. Hmm? So we can leave the chip here. Yeah, it's moving, but we can make this tight. Maybe not. Hey, Christy! Christian is come back from Romania. Hey! Bine! Ui, uite, le mai repară-mă așa, încă în când. Mi-a adus lobodă? Băi, nici n-ai idee ce, 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 ce dator mă simt. Da, cum să nu, astăzi. I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry. Christian is just back from a holiday from Romania. And he got my present, my present. Really? You okay, my Christian? Huh? Cr 
Christian is a nice guy. It's a very nice guy. Ah, merci. Thank you. Yeah, he got my cigarettes. I told him to get my uh, my cigarettes. Ah, ah, ah. Merci, Mold. No, 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 So we do have some nice things here. What's this? I can say in English. Bull. Buffalo. Buffalo meat. Yeah. And uh, Bibilica. I don't know. This is some kind of chicken. <laughs> I don't know exactly the name. Also good, Christy, huh? Okay. Let's pay attention on our thing. Okay, let me let me unplug first, yeah? Let me unplug it. Just to be safe. So Yeah now it's fine. Because obviously it has to be put on the heat sink. This will get hot. Unplug it, yeah? It's unplugged, okay. Okay, it's still moving. I think we sh I should do it more tight. Now we'll lift this up. But don't get me wrong, you can use the keys, yeah? Because even the keys is connected. You can use it, can. I can put it here, you know, with no problems. But I just prefer to be here on the heat sink. Okay, so this is nice. This is just an example, you know, how you can uh, deal with these kind of problems. Now I want it up. Now it's fine, yeah? Now it's not even moving. So now it's okay. So we have P number one. Number two, we have the ground, which is number three here. Four, which is probably output here. Yeah? And five, which is probably the plus. That's great. Let's put the wires. It's beautiful and so simple, so simple to to be done. To modify like anything, like a, a CD player, like a car, stereo car thing. Or you can use... You can't really use If you really, 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 really want to use a stereo one, you can use the TDA 2005, which is a stereo amplifier. But... Uh, you have to understand what we are doing. So instead of trashing this on the bin, we just just give him more life. Just well, not be like a original, yeah. Like the power which has this amplifier, but we'll still be fine. We'll still be working, yeah. Let's wait for the solder iron. Okay, let's let me find some wires. Let me find some wires. I do have some wires from uh, our uh, Discord team. Huh? Merci, Christy. Let's see. Okay, okay. Good. So we need plus from here, here. Okay, this is too short for plus. Let 
This is so short. Okay, I need a ground. You can have surprises with the ground, so you have to pay attention using the ground because you can have some uh, unwanted currents, ground currents. But I'll try from this screw. You will say, yeah, sorry, but the heatsink is connected to ground. I know, but I'm not, I can't, I cannot rely only on that. I, I cannot rely only on the heatsink. I want to know the pin is soldered. Last ground. I should not use the red wire for ground, but I don't have blacks. That's ground plus. Let me find a wire for plus. Yeah, that should be fine. Okay, I said should be 16 volts from here. Now, depends on you, depends how uh, deep you can get involved. If you want to fix this kind of jobs, it's fine. If not, but I can't, I cannot see a reason why you will say no when you know you can fix it. Or well, take this like as, as a challenge, you know. That's how I'm taking. It's a challenge. It's nice. It's, it's something what I'm doing. If I just have to replace a part, it's boring. It's 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 nothing excited, exciting. But to modify things, wow. Yeah, I have. <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay. It's, it's not getting hot enough, my solar iron. Okay, let me solder the wire. Plus, plus plus to pin number five. Okay, bad things can happen when you use wires, yeah? Long wires. So these are long. When you're speaking about audio amplifier, this is long. Then we have to use a capacitor. You can have some weird uh, interference or noises or uh, you know, it's it's. Long way, we need a capacitor, that's all what we need, we need a capacitor.
I'll try and find a capacitor. I found the output capacitor, we'll use this. Yeah, let's use this one. 47 micro should be fine. Try to do this video short, but you can uh, you can optimize this uh, design a lot, especially on the on the stereo. You use short legs on the components, and you can make it very smaller. Okay, so what do we need? We need the output capacitor, pin number four, yeah. The problem is because this is a class D amplifier, possible I don't have the output, uh, you know, capacitor and resistor on a serial mode. Maybe I have to use them. Okay, the next thing what I want to do is to solder this together. So it will be the middle, so on the middle will be the, the audio signal. Good, so that's the middle, that's the middle, okay, this has to be together with this one, no parallel mode, and hopefully ground is connected to ground, yeah, let's check, but I don't think, probably it's bridged, yeah, it is bridged, wait, no, this is connected to ground, There's no ground, it's like 5 ohms. I can't trust them. <sighs> okay, that's not a problem. That's fine. Yeah, so the output is a bridged output. Probably um, for more power. So we have two grounds to plus, yeah? I'll connect them together and I'll bring the wires to the audio amplifier chip. So we have ground and plus, yeah? 
But this should be okay, yeah? Yes. Let's cut the wires. My fuse wire. Yeah, I make fuses with this wire. So we have ground ones. Good. Yeah, so pay attention on the, even on the speaker, uh, the ground and uh, the hot wire or plus. That's one output. This is the second output. And that's fine. And now we have the black wire, which is coming to ground. Coming to ground, yeah. We'll see possible to have problems like weird noises. When you have problems, the things can will go wrong very quickly, so the chip will get extremely hot, impossible to get burned. But from what I know. Uh, the chip should have like a thermal protection, short circuit protection, um, high voltage protection. You know what? Let me get the glasses. That's better. Okay, so that's the red wire from the speaker. Okay, which is coming here to the plus of this capacitor. Okay, the wire is too long. Good. So we will test first with our power supply just to be sure everything is fine. Now we need two, two resistors, yeah? Let's try to find them. 221 and 2.2 .2 ohms. Oh, let's see. 330 ohms, should be fine. Yeah, 330. And... Ten ohms. It's too high, so amplification will be too low. But let's let's see. Let's see. We are adjusting these things on the fly, but first we have to have a working. Uh, no, actually, it's one point five ohms. Okay. 
1.5 ohms. Let's leave 1.5 here and see after. Okay, so this uh, we need from from the output to ground. Okay, so from the ground. To the output, so from the ground to the output. And now we need a capacitor, the 220 micro capacitor. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I found it. 220. From uh, the middle of this resistor to the pin number 2, yeah? Pin number 2. Wait, 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 wait. With a plus. With the plus to the chip, yeah? The plus to the chip, yeah. Maybe on this side for a second. Okay, that's the capacitor. It's going to this pin. And we are ready to test it. But this is just the basic, yeah? Let's test it. Let's plug the speaker on the back. Minus, plus, and now let's come with the power supply with a limit of 2 amps, 12 volts, ground, and plus. Hundred eighty milliamps doing nothing. So you see exactly what I told you. Something is wrong. Oh no, 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 no. Because I connect the plus here on the board, so probably the board is taking power also. Got it now. Yeah. So let me find a ground somewhere. Yeah. And plus. Okay, he's smoking. What is smoking? My resistor, my one ohm resistor? Why? Or not? It's working, you can hear it? Maybe not. Maybe put the microphone there. It's kind of working because there are a lot of uh, bad things there, yeah? So we do have to use that uh, capacitor, one ohm, and resistor, yeah? And 
my needs. So we do have to use. Okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, we are fine. We are okay. So we need this on ground. Okay, so it will be like that from here. Yeah. So ground here, and this here. That's fine. Let's test one more time. Minus plus ah different story different story okay so all what we need is to connect the input we need a small capacitor very small one yeah like four point seven micro which is perfect. Yeah, this one. From there, I'll show you after uh, under the microscope. Yeah, I will power out the microscope and I'll show you. How can I do it? I think I will use a wire, yeah? So I'll cut this short and I'll use a wire. Okay. Now it's a good practice to keep away the input from the output. Just to be safe. The signals are me, I mean, the wires and that's the input, and we are ready. Let's check now, we are ready. Yeah, let's plug the, the thingy, the amplifier, the DVD. It's plugged in. Power. Let's press play.
It's working great. Okay, the volume. It's a little bit too low. Yeah? So let me replace that capacitor, that resistor. Yeah? It's not getting hot. Let me replace that resistor. Okay, so that I think I done something wrong. Let me check a resistor here. Give me a second. I think I did something wrong. So this resistor is yes. So I use a 33 ohms resistor instead of of, of 220. I was thinking, I was thinking it's uh, 330 ohms resistors, yeah, but it's not. It was 33 ohms. That's why I see, you know what, why that resistor is getting blocked, that one. That's why. Okay, I drop all the resistor on floor. So you have to pay attention, okay? Obviously, if you have good eyes, it will be no problem. One hundred fifty ohms. That should work. One hundred fifty ohms. That should be fine. Okay. So what do we have here? We have this resistor, which I said should be bigger. That's fine. Let's check now, yeah? Let's check now. Okay, we do have some problems. Let me check the voltage. You can hear how the, the sound is doing? Weird thing. You can hear? Not one is low volume, only one is high volume. Okay, let's stop.
Let's try and take out this ground. No, that's not the reason. Hmm. The ground from the speakers. No. The plus. Let's take. Let's take out the plus. Let's try with our power supply. Plus minus. No, it's not because of the plus. It's not because of the plus. Ground? No. Okay, let's leave our power supply because it's more safe. We have a limit there. You can hear the sound. It's not right. Let's try with a capacitor. Let's try with this one. Minus plus. No, that's not a problem. I think the amplification is too high, yeah? Let's lower the amplification, let me find another resistor. Come on, I need a 10 ohms resistor or 5 ohms. Okay, 800 milliamps, that's not good. 10 ohms, found it. Yeah? So let's get out. The one ohm one. Let's use a ten ohms one. Let's see now. Okay, the amplification is better, but we have like 800 milliamps. That's not good, 800 milliamps. Something... Something is still doing wrong here. 
So there are some, uh, you know, noises you can't even hear, hear them. Probably very high. That's the reason why my amplifier is taking 800 milliamps, doing nothing. Still 800. What about ground? Oh, wait, what? Where's my ground? Okay, that's crazy. My camera froze. The desktop one, the the power supply froze. Huh. Okay. But it's still not okay, like seven hundred milliamps. It's still not fine. Let's see what we can do more. So we do have the output capacitor and resistor. But still we have done noises. Let's take the input out. Yeah. So our amplifier is taking 140 milliamps doing nothing. But he doesn't like the input. Okay. So he doesn't like the input because probably it's different ground. That's why he doesn't like the input. Well, let's see what we can do. Yeah, we need a small capacitor.
like one nano Okay. He doesn't like it. I think it's because we have multiple grounds possible. But still, it's something related with the input. With the input. Okay, you know what I will do? Yeah, you see, so even without the input, we still have noises, like weird noises. Fix it, we'll fix it. Let's use a capacitor from here. With a resistor. Let's get a 10 ohms resistor.
Dá sinal. Aí. Yeah, the catch is the capacitor, yeah? This is too big. That's the catch. The catch is the capacitor. It should be, the capacitor should be 100 nano. If it's bigger, you have a problem. Okay? Now seems fine. No, oh, it's perfect. So you need us a hundred nano on the output. That's very important. Okay, let's raise the amplification, yeah? Let's raise the amplification, yeah? That's not enough. Let's try with five ohms, yeah? Better. We can raise it more. So you can raise amplification till the level you want. Now the audio amplifier is taking 120 milliamps, which is perfectly 120, yeah. Because the volume is low.
You can hear? So yeah, there you need like 2.2 ohms, 2.2 ohms, something like that. Yeah? So keep in mind. The problem I don't have 2.2 ohms. But you can use on serial mode resistors. Okay, let's move the plus. Yeah. Let me try something more, yeah? output capacitor I don't think it will help but I just want to see the base if the base gets higher No, the base is the is the same. <sighs> so what do you think? It's working. It's working fine. What? That's our modification. So the volume is working, yeah? Uh, you can hear the volume? Okay, so the volume is working. I don't know why why uh, I think this speaker is not very very okay the one which I test I'm, I'm testing right now I wish I'll have another one 
Well, the heat sink is fine, it's just a little bit warm. But keep, keep in mind, you need that capacitor from the output, yeah? On the output... You see this one? Yeah? 100 nano. And the resistor, 1 ohm, 10 ohm, 10 ohms, I put 10 ohms here. But you need this. Usually you have. But not on this one, this is a class D one, I don't know if it's... Uh, if they have something like that on the output. But you need them. So actually I, I've been slowed down by that thingy. But now it's fine. Yeah? It's quite loud. Okay. I'm really sorry for this long video. I'll have a lunch break now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And uh, see you on the next time, yeah? So you can see exactly. You just build up the amplifier here. Yeah? Okay? See you on the next one. Bye.